Customer intelligence is essentially building decisioning capabilities that are directly accessible to consumer. This consumer intelligence idea is relatively new, so almost every industry is underpenetrated. But you know, it, it'll spread. That, that's absolutely clear. If you're buying something, if you're using a service, you're you're making a decision. Uh, you're going to want access to uh, information to to make those decisions more effectively. Business value, you know, tend to fall in, in two categories. One category is it's a value-added service that the consumer expects and even demands. Therefore, in order to retain the customer, you must have this. I remember a time when you know my selection criteria for a credit card was which ones allow me to pay my bill online. And those that didn't, didn't get the business. So eventually everybody has to do it. The same thing will happen with, with consumer intelligence. So it will be uh, a requirement uh, to acquire and retain customers. Let's take grocery retailing. You know, you sign up for the loyalty program, you get a card, and every time you, you buy, you know, a, a basket of groceries, you, you give the loyalty card, and the grocer is very interested in understanding the patterns of shopping, and essentially they will pay you with discounts. Well, imagine that instead of giving, you know, giving away margin, I add value to the data from a consumer point of view. So as part of my loyalty program, uh, you will get access to your data and we'll give you tools. For example, uh, health risk assessment will help me understand that, you know, if you're a diabetic or you've got high cholesterol or whatever our health issues are, take that information and then analyze your market basket and say, well, actually we would suggest that you substitute this product for this other product because it's lower in salt content or it's, you know, you, you can have a healthier diet by doing these other things. So you're adding value to help me make better shopping decisions instead of getting a margin. What they would do is say, you know what? There's a healthier set of cookies that you could buy which by the way, the healthier stuff is better for you, it usually is higher margin as well. So everybody wins. You get healthier cookies, grocery store gets a higher margin, uh, everybody's happy.